Hi, I'm going to quickly show you some of the pond and earthwork design features. So we have our general earthworks toolbar button here, at which we can then choose whether we're designing a new earthwork or a new pond. So I'm going to use a pond, but they are basically the same, except a pond gives you the additional options to set a water storage level, which will then tell you how much water is stored in that pond. So in here, we, our toolbar, we have some tools to design the design line features. Uh, we then have uh, some additional buttons to set levels and put interfacing on and move and rotate the entire pond or earthwork. So the first thing I'm going to do is put a, uh, a new earthwork line on. And this is going to be very angular to start off with, and I will curve it out in a minute. But uh, I'll just show you some basic design. So right click and hit finish. So on the 3D view you can see here, this level has this line has been put in at roughly existing ground level and it, so it's poking through a little bit there. But um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this more angular. So the first thing I'm going to do is hit add arc and just curve this thing out. Now you'll notice as I do this, these cut and fill um, volumes here are dynamic. They automatically update as I go. So there we go. So once we've got this, I probably want to uh, drop this thing down. Now, if I turn the um, ground off on the 3D view, you can see what's going to happen. So we have a few options here. We can level to the surface, we can level to a plane, or we can just set the level of the whole line. So this is going to be the base of our pond, and uh, I need to drop it down. So it's roughly at 15.8 meters at the moment. So what I want to do is set that to be something like 14.5. Um, and if I, when I click OK, this should drop down. There we go, just move down a small amount. So the next thing I want to do is put some interfacing on. Now, by default, they'll just offer you a standard one in three slope, but uh, we can be a little bit more adventurous and we can add in some steps. So uh, this is what happens when the um, pond would be in fill, and this is what would happen in cut. Now, obviously, most of the time, this thing will be in cut, so it'll be going up to the existing ground, as it's a pond. Um, but uh, we can define what's going on indefinitely, if we want to. So in this situation, I want to design a, uh, a new step, that's, say, one in three. But I actually want the height to be positive, and also I want it to be, say, two metres high. And if I tick that to be forced on, then we uh, definitely get that slope no matter what, which is why the cut and fill now match each other for that particular item. So then I may want to stick on a, a one meter wide maintenance strip and again force it there. So that if it's above the ground, we've got a maintenance strip. If it's below the ground, then it could be used as a uh, safety mechanism to get out of a pond if you fall in. And then just click OK. And we have our pond with our interfacing. So. The cut and fill volumes have all updated automatically. So the next thing I want to show you is the water storage volumes. So go to the properties and we have our level here. So we have a few extra features that we want. We can do here. We can change the colouring styles, we can change the name of the thing and we can set the pond level. So this is an absolute level, not a depth. So uh, in here I want to set this at something like 15.5. Uh, and there we go, it's automatically showing me the volume for that. That's the water storage volume. And there, once I click OK, you can see where that water storage volume would come to on here. So you've got your blue and your green. Right, so once you've got to this stage, obviously it's still dynamic. You can still update this thing. You can still move things around and everything updates as you go. You can also move the whole thing if you want to move it around. And you can rotate it to say, well, it's not quite in the right place. And there we go. And the interfacing all, up to date, all, all updates automatically, as well as the cut and fill volumes. Thank you.